The 2018 WNBA All-Star Game brought out all of the women's basketball haters. The sports poller on Twitter did a poll, and out of 14,000 votes, 92% of them said they were unaware the All-Star Game was taking place this Saturday in Minneapolis, Minnesota at Target Center. It's sad. It is just a sad thing to see. Later, they also, later that day, they also sent out a poll asking its followers who would win a game between the WNBA All-Stars in the 2017-18 28-54 Brooklyn Nets. And surprise, no surprise here, 71% said the Nets would. I don't agree with that, but that's what these people said. There are many reasons why people trash the WNBA, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a game with a ball and a court. Having only 12 teams and 34 games in the league makes every single game matter. The literal definition of hashtag no days off. One of the top arguments of why people don't watch the WNBA is because it isn't flashy enough. It's not the NBA, there's no dunks, there's no windmill 360s, there's no Vince Carters. Well, Cryo Clay had a great tweet about the WNBA haters and why they need to put some time in and watch the actual sport of women's basketball. But like everything in this world, adjusting is key. Associated Press women's basketball writer Doug Feinberg suggested next year's WNBA All-Star Game, which takes place in Vegas, should be scheduled around next year's NBA Summer League season. Interesting proposal. Me being a fan of basketball, if I went to a Summer League game next year in Vegas, I'd also want to attend the WNBA All-Star Game because I'm just a big fan of basketball in general. I enjoy women's basketball. Did you watch the WNBA All-Star Game? Seven three-pointers by Christy Tolliver. Maya Moore, she won her third straight WNBA All-Star MVP. She also broke the all-time leading score after dropping 18 points for Team Parker as they defeated Team Deladon 119 to 112. WNBA is back, baby, and it's growing better than ever. I think it would be great, you know, bring an extra and possible new WNBA fans if next year the WNBA All-Star Game was hosted in Vegas it was during the same week as the Summer League. It'd be interesting to see. A writer from The Athletic also explored the idea of holding a WNBA game at the site of the NBA Finals prior to Game 1 tip-off. There's ways to grow this game that is already growing, but there will always be haters. The WNBA All-Star Game on Saturday didn't disappoint. You know, we saw multiple, multiple moments that mirrored the NBA season. Particularly, there were some J.R. Smithish moments. You know, Chelsea Gray, to start off the game, took the tip-off and went to the left side. And there was some confusion. It almost looked, it almost mirrored J.R. Smith's messed up play against the Warriors in this year's finals. There was a little miscommunication of where her team was going, but at the end of the day, they figured it out. Wasn't the best start to a WNBA All-Star game, but it gave fans and other people looking in a good laugh. The best part about this WNBA All-Star game on Saturday was that there was 15,922 fans inside Target Center. It was the highest rated WNBA All-Star game since 2015.